is the energy vibration reading for all the sun moon and rising pisces who are having birthday and i want to say thank you for being here this is the third week of november 2017 the month is going very fast okay as we look at your energy vibration um your week is going to begin on the 13th until the 19th and whatever situation is going to have um, happen in this week is going to be very positive for you um, Scorpius that are beginning this week the energy vibration of this week is a positive one and um, you are going to be clearing up yourself and um, beginning a new year as we um, transpired in this week we have uh, um, the energy of uh, um, number 12 and this is going to be a very very positive situation where um, a lot of changes is going to be happening um, the energy of the number 12 is a water sign and the water sign as the energy vibration of positive energies okay so as we look at this week um, we are going to go deeply and looking at this week and this new year because it's actually a new year for you scorpions because this is the beginning of your 2017 year in review so as we look at um, um, the people who were born from the 13th until the 19th we have the chariot we have strength we have the hermit that is going to help you guys throughout the year 2017 we have the wheel of fortune we have justice and we have the angman um, in reverse which is um, a very good sign and we have the emperor the emperor is a wonderful sign it's all about um, your career and um, a situation that is going to happen in your life so okay let's see what else is happening for you guys um, you need temperance and balance the ace of ones new beginning the six of Pentacles so a lot of you are going to have financial support coming in the energy of the star is coming in the devil is in reverse which is good and uh, um, seven of and what is so wonderful is that for you guys in this year um, it is going to be the energy of love so the energy of love so a lot of you scorpions are going to be working on relationship situations relationship problems and relationship situation the energy of the hermit is here um, which is tempering you and the energy also of um, the hangman in the reverse form so you will be working with the hermit the hangman in the reverse form and the energy of the lovers so this is going to be good i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for supporting my channel i am asking all of you to please please like share and support these readings i'm sorry for the birthday people last week um because their um energy did not to, um birthday energy was not written on their scribe so it didn't come out um my apologies for that um so let's see what else is going to affect your year 2017 because this is the beginning of the year 2017 so let's see the sun is going to come out you're going to find strength balance um good situation is coming so this is going to be um positive okay um there is going to be a lot of um um conversation you guys especially who are working with the energy of the lovers because the energy of the lovers is going to be good some people are going to be um getting married some people are going to be um changing um their whole aspect of how they look at situation this is going to be extremely positive people are looking at you and speaking about you some people are going to receive promotion some people are going to be um seen in the public light and um, um people are going to be um sending out positive messages to you okay so um this is a good sign for the people who 
who were born on um, the 13th of November and the energy is um, a victorious successful um, year is ahead of you so from now until your next birthday in 2018 you are going to have a victorious and successful year ahead of you which is a wonderful um, way to begin you need to find balance um, in a lot of stuff because whenever you're victorious about them um, situations in your life and you have overcome obstacles there are always people trying to make conflicts so you have to understand that um, with success there is always uh, um, conflicts that is happening and a good friend of mine from Bahamas um, said to me and this was so very funny last night he says um, uh, um, a, a dog does bark at a um, at a, a car that is stop. It's so strange. And I was like, a dog doesn't bark at a car that is stop. And he says, yes, think about it. And I said, oh, yeah, because the car isn't running, so the dog can't bark, <laughs> which was very funny. And um, I want to say to um, my friend, thank you for that um, message. So it's all about whenever um, you are victorious and triumphant about certain things and certain aspects in your life and certain situations, um, there will be people that is talking about you, looking at you and talking about you because you have um, actually achieved something in your life. And there will always be the aiders because this is what I was saying. He says, you know, um, there's a saying uh, in Bahamas um, a dog doesn't bark at a, 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 at a parking car yeah that was it the dog doesn't bark at a parking car so um, yeah if you're not if you haven't achieved anything and you haven't done anything in your entire life then um, people won't have to discuss so whatever is happening for you it's going to be a very very positive remember to have balance for the people who are going to be having conflicts with you just have balance and remove yourself out of that lower energies and again happy birthday and I'm wishing you a wonderful 2017 because this is the beginning of the year happy birthday to all the people who were born on the 14th and um, one of my best one of my very best friends um, birthday is today and um, I want to say to you happy birthday I'm sorry I'm not there but um, I love you so much um, you have bring so much light and um, joy and fun in my life and for everyone out there who was born on the 14th of no uh, November I can tell you that I have a friend and he is just so a joy I'm always laughing when he's around so congratulations again and this is wonderful you're going to have a new beginning in this year of 2017 and this is the beginning of 2017 the Sun is going to come out for you because wonderful happening wonderful situations are going to be happening around you and this is going to be so wonderful and so positive so again I'm saying happy birthday to everyone who was born on November 14th I am wishing you just one of the most blessed year because this is going to be a year where you find inner strength and with that inner strength new beginnings and good situation success is going to come to you so this is going to be positive as we look at the people who were born on the 15th of November which is good because you're working with the love energy um, you have always vibrated with a love energy we have the energy of the hermit this is a year for you when you're going to be um, leaving things behind and trying to find yourself so a lot of people will find themselves um, trying to balance out certain aspects of themselves and trying to find out who they are as a person and you are also going to be receiving help so let's say that this is a year because whenever the ear of the hermit 
it's always people who are out of a job or is in between worlds finding and balancing the materialistic world and the physical world and this is going to be perfectly um, positive for you uh, whatever way you look at it you're going to be understanding that certain things in certain situation has to happen in your life and you're going to see that people are going to come in to help you there's a lot of people that is going to um, be received uh, sending you help so if you're sick and that sort of a thing or if you're in a situation where help is needed call upon the universal angels if you're looking for balance in your life if you're looking to find a new place a new house uh, um, a new um, have uh, in your life you have found it you're going to be finding it in the year 2017 because this is your new year of 2017 so again um, whatever help you need in the time that you're in between worlds because I call the energy of the hermit the, the time when you go in between to find out the spiritual world and balance the spiritual world and the materialistic world and what is going to happen is that you're going to find that space within and during that time a lot of help is going to come to you because you're going to learn um, to count on your angels and guides and they are going to be um, helping you out in a charitable way whatever situation that you're looking for whatever peace of mind whatever new place that you're looking for to have a new beginning it's going to be wonderful because a new start is going to come in and there is going to be help people or actually going to come up and help you because the energy of um, the um, the the um, oven I, I, I call it I actually call it the haven because that is the base that is bringing balance uh, the hanker is always building um, bringing balance in your life and it is uh, um, with a lot of situations stability it's bringing stability um, when you ask for um, over your work and uh, um, what you're doing you're going to see that this cards always turn up and it tells you that you have um, stability in that way so we're moving on to um, 13 14 15 16 so the people who were born on the 16th you have the wheel of fortune congratulations this is wonderful energy um, to begin the year 2017 with because uh, whatever situation that you were vibrating in whatever situation that was happening in your life it's now about to change for the best and sometimes we're in good situation because whatever the situation is the wheel of fortune because this person is um, here in this situation and the king of sword but and the king of sword is here with the wheel of fortune and as if he had a situation to do with your work and your house so um, whatever that is transpiring whatever that is happening in um, the situation of your so for some people it's going to affect their um, living space and for some people it's going to affect their houses um, for some people it's going to affect their work situation or uh, school and that sort of a thing and whatever is happening there um, there is an effect from someone who is um, the Aries, the Leo, no, the Aquarians, the Gemini of uh, the Libran. Be aware of this person because it's not really a nice person, so you have to be aware of this person, okay? Um, and I need to see and find out what exactly is that person because the wheel of fortune comes and the wheel of fortune is bringing you luck and success but that person who is the king of swords and uh, and work and the sword let's see what exactly they're saying to bring out three energies um, four of sword you need to rest the princess of wands and the four of Pentacles and what this is saying for you people who were born on the 16 where you have um, the wheel of fortune and uh, the king of swords and this house it can be your house it can be because this is a new year and um, this person is going to come in so let's say that um, for you people who were born on the 16th of November that your husband or your friend or someone that you live together 
um, has the energy vibration of an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra he is going to come in and want to uh, um, break your your um, um, f fortune with your work or with your living situation but these energy have asked what exactly is happening and um, what it is saying is the four of sword and the four of sword energy is take rest rest and plan your next step forward okay so this is a year um, the wheel of fortune comes but there is someone who is the king of sword who is trying to block it so you need to um, rest and plan your way forward then you have the princess of wands this princess of wands is um, and a uh, uh, an Aries a Libra or a an Aries a Libra of a um, Aries Libra of a um, Sagittarius woman and she is going to help you um, to um, build your foundation she's going to help you to build your financial foundation and this is good so not to worry about um, whatever that um, as a transpire in your work situation or in your home situation because someone who is an um, and, and, and and this is a young person who is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius is going to come in and help you okay we're moving on to the people who were born on the 17 and this is a good year for you guys because justice so if you have legal situation if you have things that was dishonestly done to you if you have um, things that has happened to you that was so injustice um, if you had a chaotic situation that people were creating chaos in your life and around you you have the energy of justice in the year 2017 from this day the day after your birthday until your birthday 2018 you're going to have the hermit and the lovers and the energy of justice balancing out whatever has transpired again with justice you're going to win a lawsuit and you're going to win in big time okay whatever is going on um, if you have a lawsuit if something was done to you um, in an injustice form you are going to win this lawsuit and this lawsuit is going to um, make changes in your life you need to listen to your intuition whatever your intuition is saying because um, you are going to be very very successful and you're going to win big time the energy of the moon is here and this moon is a positive moon because it is telling you that your spirit guides are helping you in the situation so always thank the angels and guide for divine intervention in this situation and thank them for bringing a positive ending into this situation because it's very injustice when um, people or um, or lying and deceiving and, and and doing all different forms of things we're moving on to the 19th of November and the 19th of November you guys are going to have the energy of the lovers the energy of the hermit and the energy of the hangman in reverse and this is good because what is happening is as if last year you had the energy of the um, the hangman in the reverse that you were looking for yourself looking for your inner life looking for your true self who you are as a spiritual person and you're going to see that in this year this positive energy is going to come out and this wonderful situations are going to be coming at you the energy of the devil is down so whoever these negative energies whatever that was blocking your way that was trying to um, prevent you from your success in your life um, the cloud and the devil is uh, uh, now in reverse and you the energy of the hangman you have found your true light and who you are because if you look this is the energy of um um, the cloud and the, and the energy of the cloud is always a blocking of something and I'm seeing something that I've never seen 
um, before and this is wonderful I don't know if you guys can see it but it's so beautiful um, in the good part of the cloud there is a dragon and it's as if the dragon in the white part of the cloud the dragon is here I don't know if you guys can see it but I can and the dark side of the cloud is uh, towards the energy of the devil so whatever the darkness and the energy of the negative energies of the devil that was carrying you are going to realize that you're true in a light this is all over okay this is all over and your true in a light is going to come out and this is so beautiful I don't think um, I need to ask a question about this because this is uh, um, this is actually a very very um, positive because uh, what this the energy of the cloud if you look at the positive side that is going towards the future what it is saying is that whatever that has transpired there was as if the fire dragons and your animal spirit guides are protecting you the dark side of the cloud is to the energy of the devil in, in the reverse and the positive of this card because whenever this card is in the reverse form that means that you are finding your true inner light and you are being who you are and this is wonderful this is wonderful and this is so positive okay we're moving on to the people who were born on the 19th and you have a situation that you have to deal with um, for some people if your father is the energy vibration of an Aries um, there is a situation that is going to transpire and um, this could be a situation that your father is going to be ill that you have yeah ill yeah sorry <laughs> um yeah that your father this is not for each and every person this is for some people if your father is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius it could be that your father has taken ill in this year or is going to be taken ill in this year um, for some people it could be um, and whatever happened I'm going to look and see how that is going to work out but you could um, have a situation to deal with your father that has taken hill in this year for some people um, it's going to be um, for um, if you are married and you have a partner that is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarian this could affect your partner too that you um, your partner realized that he has become hill and you have to be there for him okay um, for people with um, uh, business people it's not one of those wonderful good year but I'm going to ask a question because of the energy that is here so I'm calling up on my guides and angels to show us what exactly is happening um, for the situation because it's the energy of the seven of Pentacles the energy of seven of Pentacles is a uh, um, situation that to have to do with your financial situation okay so let's look and see what is going to happen to your financial world because um, you're going to be successful whatever and the Empress comes up so it's going to be good and um, the ace of cups so uh, Oh, thank you so for um, for the people um, who's um, who had to deal with their father situation um, he's going to triumph over the sickness and it's going to be good he's going to come out very good out of the situation whatever is happening he's going to be um, triumphant out of this situation and it's going to be good so for the people who husband and father has been um, in this transition period because uh, whenever we are sick is that our angels and guides are calling upon us to follow a new part so they will put sickness in our way we will lose our job things like those so um, we can choose the correct thing and for the people who has to do with their um, work and that sort of a situation um, whatever it is that you weren't um, the possibilities had not happened for you that you um, achieve 
your work something in your work it's okay because you're going to achieve it in another um, way in another year okay so I have no um, feelings of failure maybe you were expecting a promotion and that promotion didn't come to you but something better is going to come to you the next energy you have is the ace of cups which is very good because you have the ace of sword which is a triumphant over things um, and it's always a triumphant over sickness uh, over obstacles over situation that has been happening and then you have uh, the energy of uh, the Empress coming in to let you know that your financial situation will be okay and you also have the ace of cups which is new love that is coming in for some people there you're going to find out that um, new um, love relationships is going to come in for you this is going to be positive because the energy of love is also vibrating um, in uh, this um, 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 year for you people so a lot of you people who were born on the 19th of November is going to find yourself in new positive relationship much better than what you had before so I love this reading it's actually a very um, wonderful um, reading because whatever is happening in your life at this moment in because you're finishing off the year 2016 until your birthday you're seeing and you're understanding that changes is about to come up on you I am using two energies I am using the good Tarak from Khaled Barrett and let's see what you guys have um, the nine of hearts so this is the nine of Pentacles so um, this is wonderful because with the energy of the nine of Pentacles this is a positive positive situation which is coming in I love this I think this deck came out this year and I saw it and I thought you know she has done so many good cards I would love to have that deck so the nine of her comes out for you guys and it says discipline self-reliance reliability resources um, resistance and self-control the final stone placed in the foundation so this is going to be eggs a really really wonderful this is going to be a really a wonderful year and it says you know you can rely on yourself and spirit there are many tools at your disposal and you have any resource many resources to use solitude the foundation of sincerity in the material world you are um, delegating um, and having discipline focus on completing the work you have begun a long time ago and stick to your program trusting that the plan is unfolding before you exactly as spirit intended to do this is a super super wonderful that is a beautiful energy to carry on in a new year the nine of Pentacles so whatever your financial situation is going to be know that spirit is going to be helping you and um, the energy of the earth energy the nine of Pentacles is always uh, um, positive security that is coming in your life I'm also using the angel of abundance card and that is from I think Doreen virtue and a grant virtue and you have God is your source God is your source and this is wonderful this is beautiful because um, everything you need is supplied by the infinity source of God and you and your fate opens the door to receive in God there is no lack of limitation rather there is plenty of abundancy for all to share and this is your last and final card for the reading your birthday reading and I'm wishing you wonderful wonderful um, year a wonderful year of 2017 and, and um, um, wishing you all the, the success in the world 
please like and share these these readings um, please remember to listen to your Sun moon horizon sign um, open up yourself for the energies that are coming in because they're wonderful beautiful energies that are coming in and I want to say to you namaste until next time